Hey everybody, Angel Abbey here, and I'm the volunteer coordinator here at Columbia Animal Services. On behalf of the entire CAS team, I want to extend a warm welcome and to thank you also for your interest in our program. Although Columbia Animal Services has always had an active volunteer program, it has grown exponentially in the last 12 months. This orientation will get you acquainted with our shelter and show you how we go about doing things. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Thank you. Welcome to the Doggy Day Out Digital Orientation. Thank you so much for your interest in Columbia Animal Services Doggy Day Out program. In this orientation, we will briefly go over the field trip process as well as the do's and don'ts to guide you on a successful trip with the adoptable dogs at Columbia Animal Services. What is Doggy Day Out? Doggy Day Out is a field trip program for our adoptable dogs here at Columbia Animal Services. The goal is to get our longer term dogs out of the kennel in order to enrich their lives, showcase them to the community, and get more information about them while they are out and about. How to get a dog ready for a field trip. Step one, sign up. Only one dog is allowed per individual slash group and only six dogs can be signed out daily. Please make sure that you reserve your day and slot on signup.com. If you're already at the shelter and slots still need to be filled, please go online and add yourself to the calendar so that other volunteers know. All dogs must be back by 4 p.m. Step two, sign into the volunteer book. Helps us keep track of your volunteer hours by signing into your personal volunteer sheet. The volunteer binder is located on the desk in the volunteer room. Step three, pick a dog. All dogs are color coded. The animal cage cards with the check mark and matching lanyard color dot are the animal volunteers can take for walks, doggy day out, and slumber buddies. Step four, complete foster contract. Every dog that goes on doggy day out must have a completed foster form even if they're just going out for an hour. Step five, go get your adventure partner. Grab a slip lead and a doggy day out sign out of the volunteer room. Go get the dog and hang the sign on their kennel. Please note it is very important that you put a sign on their kennel so that we do not fill it. It's generally suggested that you take the dog out to our play yard and let them get some of the sillies and any pee out before putting on the collar and harness lead. Step six, collect sign out doggy day out gear. All gear must be signed out. Sign out sign in sheet is located on the doggy day out and slumber buddies cabinet. Every dog that goes on Doggy Day Out or Slumber Buddies must have a collar with a tag and harness lead on. If you need assistance, please ask a staff member. We are happy to help. Last but not least, have fun. Fit check. Every field trip dog gets an escape proof kit. Doggy bag. Each dog also receives a doggy bag with all the essentials used on their field trip. Info cards. We send these cards out so that if someone is interested in adopting your Doggy Day Out partner, you can write the name and animal identification number of the dog you have with you. The code on the back takes them to our pet finder, which has all of our adoptable dogs. How to return a dog after a field trip. Step one, take the dog back to their kennel. Sometimes the dogs don't like to go back in, so be sure to take a treat. Remove bandana, collar, and harness lead. Take down the field trip sign from their kennel and return it to the volunteer room. Step two, return sign in doggy day out gear. Please place the collar, harness lead, and bandana in the doggy day out bag, put it in the white hamper beside the cabinet, and sign the gear back in. If you dress them up, please return the costume to the rack. Step three, complete field trip report card assessment. When you fill out the report card, be sure and be honest and be detailed. We pass this information on to potential adopters. Step four, email photos to the social media coordinator. We love photos and we will upload them to the dog's pet finder profiles, which can help encourage adopters. The more photos, the better. Step five, sign out from the volunteer book. Help us track your volunteer hours by signing out. Field trip dues. Make note of your dog's name and animal ID number. Make sure to sign all paperwork before taking a dog out. Fit dogs safely with both a harness lead and a collar. Make sure you're able to handle the dog before you take them off the premises. Ask for help if you need it. Check bag for water, a bowl, treats, waste bags, and cards. Always clean up any messes left behind. 
take lots of pictures and email them to the volunteer coordinator. Have your dog back by 4 p.m. through the week, 3 p.m. on Saturdays. And most importantly, have fun. Field trip don'ts. Don't take dogs to off-leash dog parks. Don't take the leash off anywhere outside of your own secure yard. Don't leave the dogs anywhere unsupervised. Don't hand the leash to anyone under 18 or that has not done the orientation. Don't take dogs to overly crowded, overwhelming areas. Don't allow dogs to greet other unknown animals. Don't allow the dogs to pull or bark excessively. And remember, it's important that each dog that goes on a field trip represents themselves as positively as possible. Not only are we advocating for the specific dogs that goes out to be adopted, we're advocating for all of the shelter dogs as a whole. Keeping dogs quiet, cleaning up after them, making sure that they are on their best behavior, and generally following the guidelines laid out here is in the best interest of the individual dog in the entire Doggy Day Out program. Thank you for your interest and please email angelique.abby at columbiasc.gov with any questions.